Satan's show of power. For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 Once I counseled a former high priest of Satanism who desperately wanted to be free of the demonic powers who had ruled his life. But Satan was not about to let go of him without a fight. As I tried to talk to him, Harry ranted and raved and rolled around the office like a crazy man. The demons who controlled Harry were using his mind, his will, his muscles, and his emotions in a noisy display of resistance. But I just sat still. I learned a long time ago that Satan's show of power is just another facet of his deception designed to provoke fear. He knows that if he can deceive us into being afraid of him, fear will control our lives instead of faith. Satan prowls about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 Why does a lion roar? To paralyze its prey with fear. Once its victim is immobilized by fear, the lion can easily subdue it and kill it. But because of our position, authority, and protection in Christ, Satan can't touch us. If you cower in fear at Satan's show of power, then he has you on the defensive. But Peter instructed, Resist him, firm in your faith. 1 Peter 5 verse 9 Satan is defeated, believe it and stand up to him. When you do, he has no choice but to eventually back down. As the devil roared at me through Harry, I began to read scripture aloud and pray in a normal, controlled voice that the enemy would be bound in silence. After I had spent several minutes taking authority in Christ through prayer and reading scripture, Harry fell flat on his stomach in front of me. Lord Jesus, I need you, he cried out. I led him in a prayer of commitment to Christ. And when Harry finally stood up he was free. He embraced me with a childlike joy he had never experienced before. The devil's bark is much bigger than his bite. Stand firm in the faith and resist him, and he will flee. Lord, help me be bold and not fearful in the face of Satan's attacks. I want to walk in freedom and help others find freedom as well.